Hallelujah. Let's be faithful unto Him. You know, we get the voice of the martyrs, and they're celebrating the 100th uh, anniversary of Richard Wormbrand's birth. He was born in uh, 1909, and he was a great martyr for the Lord. You know, he wouldn't say that, though. He'd say he was dirt. See, that's what he would say. Because he was in prison, and Jesus came to him and said, What's your name? And he started to say Richard. You know, and he just thought, I don't have a name. That's where God wants to bring us. Where we don't have a name. Where it's no longer we who live, but Christ lives in us. Are you willing to go that far? You've got to be willing. you got to cry out to Jesus to make you willing to go that far. Because that's how far we have to go. We've got to go that far. We're going to go that far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The law of his God is in his heart. God said he would write his law into our hearts, and he's done that. None of his steps shall slide. Hallelujah. See, we're not going to just keep sliding. No, we'll stop. God will stop us. God will check us. Hallelujah. You know, that reminds me, I slid on the mountain one day. I was walking down the mountain, slid, and my leg twisted up behind me in the back, and I, I, I swear, I mean, I shouldn't swear, Lord, forgive me. I, I'm telling you, it should have ripped ligaments and everything inside of my knee and my ankle and as soon as I hit the ground I said praise you Jesus that I didn't break anything and I stood up and started walking on it I had a very sprained ankle and a sprained knee and the muscle was all strained out and my wife did heat treatments on me water water treatments cold and hot and, and then in three days I was walking normal it was just beautiful you know so I slid, but I didn't keep sliding. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I didn't get a broken bone. And praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God's faithful to keep us. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. They're, that's what they're doing. They're making plans to slay us. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. We're going to see it. When all these wicked are cut off, those that God knows aren't turning. See, God said He made the evil. He created the evil. Okay? See? He made, he made the wicked for the day of evil. God said that. Proverbs 16. God says He, created, he made the evil. Okay? He made the wicked for the day of evil. That's what He said. Hallelujah. Verse 35 of Psalm 37. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Hallelujah. You see them, don't you, in great power. They're spreading themselves. We've got our army stretched. America's army stretched all over the earth. Their empire is going out, huh? Like a big green bay tree. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yet he passed away. Hallelujah. And lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Hallelujah. Got any peace today? Jesus said, My peace I give unto you, not like the world gives, give I unto you. The world's peace is dependent upon the world, and the flesh, and the devil. Those are your three enemies. You want that kind of peace? Walk with the world. You want to buddy up with the world? Walk with the world. The Bible says in James, if you are a friend of the world, then you are God's enemy. Want to be a friend of the world? Friend of the banker? All you Christians spend more time at the bank than you do going to fellowship with other believers? You fellowship with your checkbook and fellowship with your wallet and fellowship with your credit cards? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let the filthy be filthy still. Hallelujah. And let the righteous be righteous still. But see, the filthy say, no, we're not going to let the righteous be righteous. We're going to destroy them. See? They say if we if they can get rid of all the Christians off the earth, they can have their utopia. But they're not going to be able to do it. Because God has Christians everywhere. Hallelujah. God has people who walk in the way of this life everywhere. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I have seen the wicked... In great power, spreading himself like a green bay tree, yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. 
Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, and the end, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. Hallelujah. God's delivering us from this wickedness. God's doing it. Hallelujah. And save them because they trust in Him. Because they trust in God. They don't trust in their arm, their army. They don't trust in their firearms. They don't trust in their money. They don't trust in their houses. They trust in God. And God will deliver them. See? That's who we trust in. We trust in Yahweh. We trust in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Almighty God. And He will deliver us. He will deliver us. I said it again. He will deliver us. Hallelujah. He will and has and continues to deliver us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we trust in Him. Hallelujah. You know, talking about the New World Order, uh, there's a lot of talk about it. And there's a lot of talk about the catastrophe that's coming. And David Wilkerson had the urgent message last Saturday. And, you know, this is a man of God who's been following walking with the Lord. <laughs> you know, he's been through some very severe trials in his life. Okay? He's had many, many stones thrown at him. Many, many arrows okay, shot at him. Because the wicked shoot out the lip at him. See, or the deceived. Okay. Because some people are just ignorant and deceived. They're not necessarily wicked like the wicked who are never going to be saved. But they're working for a spirit that is operating, that is, that is wanting to bring division, heresies, into the church. And David's put up with this his whole ministry, over 50 years, you know ministering the word of the Lord and when he gave that urgent message man it clicked with us because the Lord's been showing us okay and one thing that we found about David is that well we know for sure the spirit of the Lord's in him because the Lord will be showing us something in the spirit we'll, we'll sit around and talk about it Sharon and I you know we we try to make our conversation every day as it becometh the gospel of Christ now we're not perfect in that you know we'll talk about earthly things and 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 so the Lord, he he wants us to get better at that. Okay, so we we're just constantly speaking of the things of heaven, things of the Lord. And so anyway, when we get the pulpit series in the mail, boom! The title of the pulpit series is exactly what we've been going through, exactly what the Lord's been doing. You know, so it always brought confirmation to us. So when we heard the urgent message, it brings confirmation to us. Okay. So I urge you. And God's calling us to come to pray. Alright? So we have to come and pray. So let's let's come together and pray. Uh, let's say, Lord, you know, in the Spirit, let's pray. You know, if you're in the central time zone, let's just set aside 8, eight o'clock every night to pray for an hour, you know? Let's just all come together and pray for an hour in the Spirit. Alright? Let's pray God will make us like His Son. Transformation, you know? Being transformed in the image of God. Is the image of Christ. Okay. Romans 8. Alright. 29. And then let's pray that God will avenge us of our adversary. Let's cry out as a body of believers that God would avenge us of our adversary. Okay. The devil. Satan. Alright. Let's do that. 8 o'clock in the central time zone. So that would be 9 o'clock on the east coast, 6 o'clock on the west coast, 7 o'clock mountain time. And whatever time zone you're in around the world, okay? If you're in England, uh, eight o'clock. Our time's going to be um, four o'clock in the morning. Or no, it's going to be two o'clock in the morning. All right. Maybe you can set your alarm and wake up and pray from two to three. You know. Just let's come together as believers. Let's pray and seek the Lord together. Because God wants a body of believers that are looking to Him. And not look in the man. Because the de it says in the word, he's going to cause you to come and bow down. Okay, and they're using food as their main weapon. Food. Food for the natural man. See, That's why you have to get 
in the Word of God because Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. See, He said He will sustain us and He can sustain us with one piece of bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And He does. Hallelujah. He does that with us. <laughs> we thank Him for it. But it's good. Pure bread, see. It's the bread of life, the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 